This is About Time, a 60-foot cruise astern narrowboat built by Pat Buckle in 2018. She's brand new. A change in circumstances of her owner means she's for sale, and as you would expect, she's in mint condition. Pat Buckle built, builds boats up on uh, the River Nina at Stibbington. My boat was a Pat Buckle, so I have a particular liking for them. The water is in that front locker there in the bows. And under the well deck here is all storage. I'll show you where you access that. It's an integral water tank. And the gas bottle's on the back. Into the boat we go. She's fitted out in beach. Carpet tiles to the floor. Feels lovely and light. Roomy. It's a good sized room this. Just over 14 feet long. There's the more so squirrel stove. Solid fuel. And this is a sofa bed. A small sofa bed. 5 foot 3 by 3 foot 3. And a very comfortable armchair. The cupboard in the corner here, and the storage in this step and access I mentioned to the storage under the well deck is behind that. A couple of useful cupboards either side of the access steps. And down we go, there's an ottoman there, a footstool, that's useful storage as well. The lights on board, you can see them there on the ceiling are LED. And all the windows on this boat are double glazed, just worth mentioning. And into the galley, 8 foot 5 inches long, there's a side hatch there, preparation surface underneath it. That side hatch has glazed inner doors so you can shut them if it's raining. Squeaky clean stove, oven and grill and a microwave next to it. It's a cupboard above that microwave. Beautiful double Belfast sink here with storage both sides of it and under it. Plenty of room to put things away in this kitchen. Head height on the boat, six foot four. And the fridge is here, that's brand new. It's just out of the box actually. It's either 12 volt or 230 volt and it's a shoreline with an ice box. There's the view down the galley. Lovely boat this. As I say, you get a new boat, but you don't have to wait two years. This door recesses into the panels there when it's open and closes for privacy towards the stern. Into the bathroom we go. Very nicely fitted out. Ceramic sink. The loser pump out. And there's a shower with a bifold door. There's actually a seacock on board, so you can pump the loo out when permitted, straight out overboard into the uh, sea or tidal river sections. Down into the bedroom, ten and a half feet long nearly. Storage under the bed. Very good size. Cupboard here at the head end and two good sized drawers underneath. There are also some cupboards above the bed here with LED lights underneath and porthole windows in here, they're double glazed as well. Good sized double wardrobe at the foot of the bed. Some drawers underneath that. Around we spin, there's another door here, and the aft cabin is a very useful room. It could be utility room, office, you could turn it into a child's bedroom. Space under here for a, not under here, one sec, you'll see under there for a washing machine, the plumbing and the power is already there, it just needs to slot in. The electric cupboard is here. There's actually a cupboard underneath there. You pull the steps away. And there's a storage cupboard there. And there's a floor to ceiling. Cupboard on the starboard side here. Very useful room. Access is very easy. Onto the stern deck. That's seven feet long. Very practical seating arrangement here at the back that serves as a 
storage locker as well and the Vitas 43 engine spotlessly clean in there is under the deck boards 51 hours on her that's all she's done and the two gas bottles sit either side of the door and doors in those lockers so that's her about time LED lighting throughout there's a landline on board for 230 volts and there are TV aerial points in the saloon and the bedroom she comes with the usual navigation equipment ropes, fenders, pole, mooring pins windlasses there's a hose on board as well actually lovely boat out we go and that is about time. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.